things. I wanted to make a separate intro video to the beam. I call it the beam because it's a 60 foot beam that we got from Pennsylvania. It is basically the reason why this open concept living room uh, exists in this house and it was one of the most important things and uh, watching it go up was incredible. So Cremo, the beam, how much does it weigh? I think the beam itself is around 3,500 and then we had to fill it left and right with uh, lumber. So it comes out to around 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds? 6,000. So it's a write-off. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so the beam is metal, metal beam, 60 feet long, and then they fill it with lumber on each side and then they drill it. They drill the lumber through to the beam. So that beam's heavy as hell. It is very 6, heavy. Pounds. So this is the support for the beam. It's tied into the foundation. And then there's another thing that's welded, right? So this is 22 feet. 21 and a half to be exact. 21 and a half feet, opening up the kitchen all the way up to the living room. It's insane how high the ceilings are. And it's all thanks to this beam. Um, have you ever seen a beam that big in a residential? First time, like I said, I'm almost seven years in this business and that's the first time we are installing a, a steel ridge beam all the way on the top. The other thing is, on the other end, we have two columns. One is sitting, the one in the back sitting on top of a steel beam, and the one closer to us is all the way supported by the, by the footings in the basement. So basically, we have two or three columns sitting on top of each other to basically carry all the weight. So we did a four by four footing, 16 inch deep, to carry all the weight, because the rafter will be roughly, I would say around 15,000 pounds, and it carries the whole weight. Basically, that's the, 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 the heaviest point at the house. And there's also a wind load, that, wind load that they factor in too, because it's a ranch, so all the wind that hits this house could cause movement and shifting. So that's Absolutely. why there's so much steel. Yes. So guys, this is where the end of the beam is. Uh, Karima, why is there two steel columns? So as I mentioned earlier, that column is sitting on a beam and that column is going all the way down to the basement. On a footing. Exactly. They put that column because we have roughly a 15 foot over span and uh, that column is technically supporting that, that one here. So a transfer of weight almost. Absolutely. Okay, and why is there a hole in the floor? <laughs> because we are we have, we have to go through the subfloor and yeah. uh, we opened it up. We didn't know exact, uh, the exact location. Yeah. And now we found out and we will cover everything once so it's this, done. So uh, the floor gets put back here. Yes. And then this is the powder room. So because this beam is right here and we didn't want to have a beam in the powder room, which I actually thought was cool, but everyone talked me out of it. Um, we're moving this wall and this wall in. So the powder room is going to shrink just a little bit so that we can hide this beam. It's going to be like this. It's going to be what? An extra foot here and an extra it's two feet here? It's going to be seven by seven. It's, it's a good seven size by seven. powder. Great powder room. So, and nobody will be able to tell that there's a giant fucking beam here. <laughs> um, how important is it for this beam to be on point and accurate? And how close do they have Honestly, to get to the measurements? Honestly, um, the company who did the whole uh, uh, steel work, they were pretty precise. They uh, came maybe three or four times to do the measurements because they had to measure from the footing and they had to make sure that the, the, the columns are on the right exact location, which I'm very happy about that they, they were about, right about all the measurements. And now here we are, finished product. Beautiful. You could really see the length and girth of this beam. It goes all the way down to beyond the living room even, all the way to the beginning of the bedrooms and it meets the other A-frame ridge. So I th it's just incredible. I, I love how open, you can't tell right now because there's all this support and uh, this is like scaffolding, right? For the framers, all this is coming down. Absolutely, yes. So this will all be one big open space. I forgot how big this is. This is... Uh, Around 40 feet. 40, 40 feet here. 40 and feet. what, another 30 feet wide? Uh, roughly, I would say, yeah. Oh, a little 40 bit more. 40 feet living room by 30 feet. That's crazy. So this beam changed the entire look of this house. And I'm so glad we did it. It was necessary to have this open space. 
I mean, sometimes you walk into a house, I walk into a house as a realtor and I'm like, man, if only this was like a little bit more open concept. We can put this beam here, we can open it up. But this has to be done when you're building the house. This is thought out before. So all this space, so much room for activities here. All open concept. And shout out to Milan, the designer, who you guys will meet as well. She uh, designed this house to have the site, she calls it sight line. So sight line from, this is a double slider here. Sight line from the front of the house to the back of the house. So the second you walk into the house, you have a straight shot to the back and same thing in the kitchen. So shout out to Milan, you guys will meet her. She's a designer on this project and um, stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you like this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Karimo. Let me know what you think about this project and we look forward to hearing from you. Peace.